Hey guys, welcome to my series called Finally Explain Fridays, where I take a complicated mechanic in Minecraft and explain it simply. Today I will be explaining comparators. Comparators released in the redstone update and are quite confusing because they have many purposes. They have two inputs, usually referred to as input A and input B. Input A is from the back of the comparator and input B is from either side of it. The one output is at the front of it when you place it down. So the first use of them is in comparison mode, where the front torch is black. This is the default mode when you place the comparator down. In this mode, if the input A is stronger or equal to the input B, it will let the current pass through without being repeated. If input B is the strongest, then it will cut the current and not let any through. It is important to note that in the situation of A being the strongest input, then the comparator does not output the strongest possible current like a repeater, but would simply let the current pass through. This mechanic has some cool uses in capacitors, which I'll link a video to. The second way you can use this is in subtraction mode. To put your comparator into subtraction mode, you need to right click on it. This will turn the front torch on. So in this mode, the comparator will output the input A minus the input B. This is a useful of weakening the power of the current. Just to give some examples, if the redstone piece next to the comparator, that is input B, is at strength 15, then no matter what current you put through it, the comparator will always output none. If the redstone piece on input B is on strength 1, then it will decrement the input by 1, then output it. The third use is quick and easy. The comparator can delay a signal by one tick. It also acts similar to a diode in that it will allow current to flow one way but not the other. This is similar to a repeater or a double inverter. Another purpose that comparators are used for is checking how full a container is. This is probably the most useful mechanic. Comparators can measure the contents of a container if you put it down so the back of it is touching a chest, furnace, hopper, cauldron, brewing stand, dispenser, dropper, or an end portal block. They also work on jukeboxes, but I will get to that one in a bit. The signal strength is always proportional to the amount that the container is filled. In other words, if there is no items in the container, there will be no signal, and if the container is full, then it will output a full signal strength. This mechanic is useful if you want to test the chest, if it's empty. If it has one or more items, the output will be at least a signal strength of one. It will only be off if the chest is empty. Jukeboxes are a little different. If you place a comparator down with the back facing a jukebox, then it will output a different current based on which disc is currently playing. At the time of this video's creation, there are 12 music discs in the game. A comparator will output a signal strength of 1 to 12 in order of the appearance in the creative menu. For example, the disc called 13 will output a strength of 1, and Maul will output 6. I have actually made a machine that can detect which disc is playing. There's a link below. Comparators can also be used as the fastest possible clock in the game. First, make sure the comparator is in subtraction mode. This means that the torch is on. If you provide a constant current A, then take the output and plug it back into input B, then the comparator will tick on and off very quickly. This will only happen if there's a constant current into input A, which makes it easier to switch the clock on and off. The clock is useful if you want to make something like a rapid fire machine using dispensers. Well there you have it, you are now an expert on using a comparator. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you next Friday.